Hello everyone, today I'm making the 3 cup Kusista recipe. Okay, so now this is 300 and about 310 ml of uh, lukewarm water. I'm going to add a packet of yeast. And I have third of a cup of caster sugar or ordinary sugar and I'm going to add half of it to my water, my lukewarm water. About just half. And now I'm going to stir it. I'm going to put it aside for about five, six minutes. And then I'm going to do the dry ingredients. So when making the dough, just remember, all flours are not the same. So if your dough is a little bit not sticky enough or too dry, just add one or two tablespoons of um, lukewarm water. Here we go. Okay, and now we do the next step. Okay, here I've got three cups of cake flour. I'm going to add the rest of my sugar, which was a third of a cup, and I threw half in by the yeast, okay? I've got two and a half tablespoons of whole aniseed, two and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon, a teaspoon and a half of ground cardamom but it's to your taste a teaspoon of ground ginger and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt I'm also going to add um, some of the zest of a nachi you can use the dried uh, peeled nachi powder about half a teaspoon or to your taste and if you don't like the nachi in it you can omit it if you like this uh, consistent recipe do not have any eggs in the recipe milk baking powder or butter it is just the yeast and the spices and the nachi okay now i'm going to stir the dry ingredients People asked me um, what makes the Kusista so nice and dark. Well, it's a combination of the spices and also the amount of sugar you throw in. So if you add a bit more sugar, your Kusista will be darker when you fry it. And of course the cinnamon. Okay, make a cheese and I did this recipe and tested it because I'm used to making um, cosistas that has, that's like hundreds of cosistas and I thought, you know, for people who don't want to make so many, this would be the perfect and ideal recipe for you. Okay. the zest of the nachi and of course we keep the skin we peel the peels and I throw it in my um, sugar syrup that we're gonna make later on this recipe yields about 30 your sisters Perfect. Okay, here's my yeast, nice and frothy. I'm going to add it in. I'm 
Now with the texture of the dough, you want it to be very soft and a bit sticky. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take some oil and just set up the bowl and the dough. So now I'm going to cling it a bit. And now we're going to let this sit in a warm place in the kitchen until it's double in size. Okay, so the dough has risen nicely. Okay. okay, and I can put oil or flour on the surface. Putting it on the wooden board because uh, when it's very cold outside, this um, surface is also very cold and it, the sisters take longer to rise. So I'm putting it on a wooden board with some flour. And I'll just continue. I need to make it smaller because I tend to make um Gafties. So you just continue doing this until everything is. I'm not gonna bore you through that. I'll be right back. Okay, there it is. I said, Krieger, tell it if I count it right, it's 30. Wait. Five. 10. 15. 20. 15. 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, thirty-one. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna fry the the sisters on a medium to high heat. Fry to both sides is nice dark brown. A couple of minutes on each side. Okay. Okay, they they are nice and airy and bouncy. You know it's gonna be a nice light sister. Okay, a uh, nice buck with some paper towels to drain the oil. Take it out. Okay guys, now I'm going to sugar the cusistas. I've got two cups of water in my pan. I'm going to add a few cardamom pods. Go. Some cinnamon sticks. And a uh, Finally got some nachis at the shop. Nachi peel in. And uh, three cups of sugar. Mm. 
Now we're going to let this cook on a medium to high heat until bubbles form, lots of bubbles. And we're going to drop the cysters and then put the coconut, the desiccated coconut. I'm using the fine one. You can use the medium uh, coconut. It's entirely up to you. Smells amazing already. Put some more skull in. Okay, and we'll be right back. Okay, whenever you um, set up the cusistus, keep some water nearby. Every time you take out a batch, you put a little water in so you don't end up with a sticky, sticky um, syrup. You water it down a bit. I'm going to add my, I don't want my sisters to be too sticky or the sugar to be too hot. So I'm going to add it in now. Okay. Get this. I've prepared my bowl. I put some coconut in here as well. Of course, I'm going to take some photos, guys. See, the more the syrup cooks, the more the water evaporates and the less it becomes. It also soaks in a little bit in the cusistus. So, I just love this recipe. It's convenient for me because we're not many in the house. I remember I used to make the 2.5 kg cusistus, sometimes 5 kilograms of flour cusistus. All day you're busy. So this is like for those who don't want to make so many. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take it out now. Let's put the heat lower. Okay, I did all the, the sisters now. Now we're just going to 